Hey YouTube, it's Brooks, and today we have in front of us the 2023 Lexus ES300 Hybrid. Uh, as you may remember, this is the second ES Hybrid video I've made in a year, uh, being as a demo much earlier this year was a 2022 ESF Sport Hybrid, uh, which was all new for 2022. Uh, so this is going to be a pretty quick look at what's been updated for 2023. Uh, just show you some of the, the small changes that have been made this year. As always, as an employee of Toyota Motor North America, these views are my own and do not reflect those of the company. So this generation ES, as you may know, came out in 2019 uh, as an all new body style on the uh, Toyota New Global Architecture. It was one of the first Lexuses to be on that platform. And it was actually the first Lexus to introduce uh, Apple CarPlay. Uh, and since then, just uh, just four short model years ago, uh, much has changed in the infotainment space, especially with Lexus. And so 2023 marks the introduction of Lexus interface uh, and the removal of remote touch pad or remote touch interface and Lexus Inform. So we'll take a look at those changes inside. Uh, but outside, this is the Nightfall Mica exterior. Um, and this is a fairly standard premium build, premium with nav. Uh, there are a couple of different trims and packages you can get, uh, namely the F Sport, like I mentioned, ultra luxury, luxury package, uh, premium package, or the standard build. Um, this does have the upgraded 18 inch alloy wheels, standard or 17 inch. One of my favorite designs since uh, our angle since this car came out is the rear view here. You do have special hybrid um, uh, real or rear fascia here. It's actually shared on the ES250 as well uh, versus the 350 will have uh, exposed exhaust ports. I love these tail lights and the wraparound chrome trim. You do have a power trunk with rear uh, kick sensor as well. And plenty of storage here. I actually had, um, I've had this vehicle for just shy of a week and took four adults and their luggage up to Charlotte, North Carolina and Columbia, South Carolina from uh, Atlanta and just plenty of room um, for all of us. Taking a look at the back seat. Again, plenty of room for four full-size adults. This does have the new for 23 macadamia interior, uh, which replaced rich cream. It has to have the uh, ash matte bamboo wood trim, which just looks really pretty. Matches that blue very nicely. And I love the macadamia inserts here. Do you have two rear cup holders and a ski pass through, as well as two USB-C type ports in the back, the 12 volt power outlet and rear air vents. And it won't be uh, possible to show here in the daytime, but there is a little strip of ambient lighting underneath the wood trim. Pardon the wind noise. Power on the vehicle here. Of course, you won't hear any noise. It starts on electric power. And you will notice the Lexus interface system off to the right here. So 2022 did bring the uh, screen forward to become a touchscreen, but 2023 actually saw a redesign of the center console here, again, to introduce our wireless CarPlay and Android Auto through the Lexus interface multimedia system here. All the center console uh, HVAC controls are all the same. You just still have your dual zone climate control, as well as automatic heated front, um, heat, excuse me, automatic heated and cooled front seats and an automatic heated steering wheel. But this is where all the changes have happened. So you still have your um, electronically controlled continuously variable transmission right here with sport mode and of course rear backup camera and tilt down mirrors off to the side but previously there was a touch pad here for your uh, remote touch interface that has been replaced with this Qi wireless charger and then your dual cup holders are now side by side as compared to one here and one up front and then you do have this little uh, little felt line tray here that's perfect for, you know, cell phones, wallets, you name it. And then you do have this little sliding door that has a USB type A and type C port. And then in the center console, pardon all the mess, but you do have two USB type C's and a uh, 12 volt power outlet. And again, I love the uh, macadamia seats here with the black inserts and that ashwood trim. Fairly standard ES stuff otherwise, which is great. Uh, and especially ES hybrid means you get on average 44 miles to the gallon, uh, 215 horsepower through the front wheels. And again, that ECVT and a fuel range of 500 plus miles to empty, which has been fantastic. 
um, for this or for road trip vehicle, which this is uh, very comfortable and luxurious, and very quiet. Uh, premium package features do give you those memory seats off to the left here, which pardon the glare. And then down below you do have a uh, power folding side view mirrors and of course automatic, wi um, automatic windows. And then that power trunk release, as well as a small coin holder off to the left here. And taking a quick look at the Monroney label, again, standard features on the left here. Um, of course, you have Alexa Safety Systems 2.5 and the fuel economy right there, which I just mentioned. And then uh, optional features off to the right here are that, like I said, this upgraded wheels, the 12.3 inch touchscreen with Lexus interface. Um, standard is an eight inch touchscreen and the premium package for a great uh, overall value for what this vehicle is. And then again, there's some of the standard features for the uh, new multimedia system. Again, if you've seen Interface for any other Toyota or Lexus product, it's the same here. Um, just a different uh, different setup with um, out the HVAC controls in the bottom here. Um, we've got the physical controls, but it operates the same as the new NX, LX, Tundra, Sequoia, you know, any, anything that Toyota is putting this in, which is great. It pairs super seamlessly um, to my uh, iPhone here. And then I can integrate all of my different uh, uh, and, uh, Amazon Music and uh, Apple Music uh, just into the vehicle. You got nav, phone, and then different car settings here as well. So again, uh, this is just a quick overview of what's changed for 2023 on the ES. Wanted to document it for future reference. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Had this car, like I said, a week and 770 miles. Uh, so I'll probably have it about 4,000 more miles or maybe about another month or so. So if you have any questions or want any other video content, uh, just give me a shout and I'll uh, be happy to do that. Thanks for watching.